This is an in-depth comparison of two budget golf sets, one from Sports Direct and one from Costco. So let's do it, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, I know you've all been waiting for this video because I've been waiting to do it. I've been heavily anticipating which set is going to be better. So in the red corner, we have the Sports Direct Slazinger V300 Premium Golf Set, which was actually 50% off, down from $14.99 to $23.99. In the black corner, we have the Costco, the gun, it was always going to happen. We have the Costco Cobra 10-piece complete set, driver fairway, hybrid six irons, and a putter. That was just over £400. So RRP, very, very similar. However, there's one elephant in the room. Um, yeah, you get a full bag with the Slazinger set. So for half the price, you're ready to go on the golf course. Guys, today we're going to head out on the golf course. So we're going to put these two sets to the test. And we're also going to do it in the simulator room to see which set is the best budget set you can buy from a shop um, and they're all going in this bag because we didn't get a bag with the other one so this is going to be a heavy old test so you'll see here guys we have a lovely mishmash of the Costco set and the Sports Direct set very similar we have a driver a hybrid a driver a hybrid a three wood a three wood a putter a putter and I've put some wedges in some nine irons in and some mid irons in so we can test these to see which one's best guys do me a favor get in the comments below straight away which set would you be thinking for your money, even if the Slazinger set was maybe at full price? I got it on sale. I don't know how often they go on sale. I don't know if that's the price it's supposed to be anyway. Get in the comments and let me know. Let's go and hit the golf course. So guys, this on-course portion of this video isn't necessarily gonna be about scoring. I've already done two videos with both of these golf clubs to show you what I can score. I'll go through that in a second. And I've also gone through the numbers as well, so we can compare them there. We'll go through that towards the end of this video. This is more about the feel element. It's about the enjoyment element. Which golf clubs would I rather play? Because sometimes that's as important as what you score and what the numbers are, as well as the price. I'm gonna keep coming back to the price. I think both these clubs are exceptional value. So we are gonna go from the back tee, guys, the back tee with budget golf clubs, and no better place to start than the drivers. Now the drivers for me, the Cobra has one huge issue, not just the head cover being a nightmare to get off. It is a Cobra, so people are going to automatically compare it with a Cobra. The Slazinger is pretty much the Slazinger. You know what you're getting with that. You know it's going to be fairly cheap, fairly budget, but I actually quite like the look of that Cobra. Let's get teed off and see where these drives go. So the rules are nice and simple. We get one drive each with each club and the best one wins. It's not necessarily about how far it goes. It's about how it feels. It's about how much I enjoyed the shot. Let's start things with the Slazinger. Same golf ball, same tee peg, same shot, slightly downwind. This definitely looks more budget. I know it was cheaper, but it was in the sale. Something we've always got to think about. We'll take the same line over the bunker. Oh, I've lost it there with the shaft, that's gone right. That happened in the video I did with these clubs. I'm going to keep an eye on that ball because that could be a lost ball. What happened there was the shaft stayed behind, came out the toe, the face geared open, the ball went right. Uh, not a lot to beat there. And not just on performance, like I said. Straight away looking down at the Cobra, it has more of a premium feel to it. The paint looks more premium. Even the face looks more premium. It still looks fairly cheap, but better than the Slazinger. And I'm a big fan of these alignments here, which you do get on all the woods with the Cobra, or the Costco Cobra, should I say. Regular flex, same flex shaft, but is it a better quality shaft? Straight down the middle. He said, quite enjoy that felt okay. Is it bunker? It's past the bunker, that's massive. That's immediately one nil up. And even if I compare the grips, neither of these are premium grips, but that one just feels way better than the Slazinger. Now, I hear what you're saying. James, I'm not really confident with a driver anyway. I want you to test the three woods. Let's move forward on the tee. Let's test Sports Direct three wood against Costco three wood. And let's see which one's better for you. 
you see a sense that you get where this video is going. So for me, the three woods are very similar to the drivers. There is a distinct difference in build quality and material quality. You can tell that just from the finish. They're both 15 degree, both regular. We can see just even in the cold of the face, very, very different. And then looking at the crown of the club, you see again with the Cobra, we have that lovely kind of nice thick line for alignment and the Slazinger, we have the Slazinger Cat. We'll change up the order. We'll go Costco first. Okay. You know what? That actually looks really good. I could, on the look of this three wood, I could game this quite easily. Right. Play for safety. Nice fade. It's going to be the rougher touch. I think I stayed in the fairway. That wasn't bad at all. That was quite a nice strike. That felt and sounded great. So what about the Slazinger Sports Direct? Can we get the same shot? Play safe for the fairway. Head looks totally different. Looks more bulbousome. That's also good. That's better. This is interesting. You see, based on the looks of these three woods, I anticipated the Cobra to be like the driver, feel better, sound better, perform better. This actually surprised me then. That felt really, really solid and firm. You can see that was out the middle as well. I'm actually gonna show you where they finish because that is fantastic. And again, this is where these clubs are kind of coming into their own based on the price, both of them. Oh, that head cover. Now, when it comes to the hybrids in these sets, guys, this is almost the piece de resistance. I think I've said that wrong. But I hit two fantastic shots, if I do say so myself, of oh, the straps broke. Um, right, that's, that's definitely a point off for the Slazinger, and that wasn't planned. Um, what was I saying? I hit two great shots. I can't believe that bag's broke. I hit two great shots with the hybrids. I'm going to replay them on screen now because I just think the great clubs, I don't need to hit you another one to tell you how good they are. When you think you can go and buy a hybrid now for like 200 pound, or you can buy a full set with a decent hybrid for 230 pound, or if you go the Cobra's 430 pound. Still excellent value, isn't it? Yeah, hybrids, really good. Three woods for a second. You can see the Cobra three wood is in the fairway up there near the 150 marker and the Sports Direct Slazinger, it's actually a little bit further, maybe not so much on the angle, but in the left-hand rough. Two fantastic shots, I'm not gonna try and split them, but I am gonna say I was amazed with how good the Slazinger felt. The Cobra felt good, but the Slazinger just felt a little bit firmer, which I wasn't expecting after the driver. So maybe the shafts are a little bit infrequent, which for that price you're always gonna get. Let's talk irons. So, we've smashed a shot down at the center stripe, obviously um let me put a ball down so you believe us and we now have a six iron in which six iron would you be going for out of the slazinger from sports direct or the costco cobras again sounds like an nhl team doesn't it i just think there's a massive distinctive difference in build quality looking at the cobra and the slazinger like huge so we'll see how they feel but so first up let's go v300 and let's see if we can hit the green. A shot that goes on the green from here is a great shot. We're about 180. We are downwind. How's this going to react? That's as good a swing as I've got. Is it up there? Oh, it is. That's middle of the green, and that was a lovely turf interaction. That's also something which with irons you want to be thinking about. How does the club interact through the turf? Let's see if we can get a similar shot with this same shot. Can we get it closer? We're aiming for the middle of the green. This immediately looks better, a little bit more offset. Nice thick top line. That is at it. Oh, that is so good. Bit of club. Oh, what a shot. Thank you. Thank you. There too, you know what? I'm trying to compare these and it's like, really need to let's just be happy that you can buy a set of golf clubs for this price and play good golf enjoy i'm not saying good golf enjoyable golf golf you can play with your friends have some fun have a smile on your face and not spend a fortune said it so guys i mentioned earlier that i came out and played golf here at woolly park golf club with both these sets of clubs to a massive score i played exactly the same holes on very similar days 
here's some highlights. So one shot in it there over the same holes, and that's obviously based on my swings at the time, that's based on the shots that I hit, not just based on the clubs, but very comparable, very enjoyable for both. And you can see here those iron shots, the one at the top nearer the flag, that's the Cobra. We hit both of the green, both of them on the green, which is all I really want. What about if we'd have gone in this bunker here? But what if we've left ourselves a horrible, difficult shot in the bunker here with these two sand wedges? Now you can see these both have nice wide soles on them, plenty of bounce to help get the ball out of the bunker and airborne. Um, already for me, you can see that that face on the Slazinger's wearing, that's bag wear, that's not ball wear. Um, if it does that with all the irons, that's going to be quite worrying. Um, and the face for, I, I should have cleaned these really, but um, anyway. Right, we'll go Slazinger first. Don't get mucky, right. And that kind of bag wear, move that stone, that kind of bag wear would annoy me even if I have only paid a decent price for them. That was easy to get out, I've just hit it way too hard. It glided through the sand a lot easier than I anticipated there. Not a great bunker shot, but a decent club to use it with. And all I've done is learn from the second shot there. Two good wedges. I much prefer the look of the Cobra just because I don't feel like it's going to wear as much. I, don't, I feel like I can hit it in the sand. Whereas you can see already there, that's one bunker shot. Like, it's going to be absolutely battered, isn't it? That's your bag wear. That's your bunker shot. Um, yeah. And this last bit's a funny one, guys, because the club that you use the most is the one where one brand have absolutely nailed it. And one brand I've really kind of cheapened out. Where is it? If I had a head cover on it, I'd find it. Um, I'll let you guys think for yourself which one of these looks um, looks more like you'd want to use it. Even down to the grips, have a lampkin grip on the Cobra. And that's just like an iron grip that's been ironed out a bit. Guys, we're going to talk putting. First of all, we're going to jump in the studio and talk numbers for all these clubs, because I know you're heavily anticipating that. And then I'll do a final comparison with these sets. So I kick things off inside with the pitching wedge, just from around 130 yards to a nice tight green. For me, that's very important. You can hit some controlled shots, even with budget golf clubs. I managed to hit some quite good shots, as you can see here, but some bad shots as well. As you can see from the numbers, the Costco clubs came out on top, not only in ball speed, but a little bit less spin rate and more distance of four yards, two yards total with run out. We then moved on to the six irons, and for me, the six irons, I was very impressed with the Costco Cobra 6 iron, I managed to hit a couple of lasers with that, so you can see this one bang on line. Then we moved into the Sports Direct Slazinger 6 iron. I could not keep that golf ball on the planet. Look at where some of those balls finished towards that same green. So again, more ball speed with the Costco, a little bit less spin with the Costco, and nearly 10 yards more with the Costco Cobra irons. Driver-wise, I'm not gonna lie guys, I struggled with both of these drivers. You can see here on the 18th hole at Lytham, I could not hit the fairway for love nor money with either of them. Generally, I think the Costco one was a little bit better. It felt a little bit better quality shaft-wise. But look at the numbers. Neither of these are producing good ball speed, good spin, or good distance. 259 yards total for the Costco Cobra and 254 yards total with the Sports Direct. Not that good. And you see, for me, guys, the putters in these sets sum up the sets perfectly. I'm more bothered about how this putter looks, how it feels, how they've gone to the extent of putting a little bit of milling all across the face in case you do miss that sweet spot. I don't even think that's an insert, that's just to make it look like it's got an insert. But then the back of it looks very much like an answer. We've got a nice toe and heel weighted bottom for a little bit more balance. And the grip absolutely sums it up. Very similar with both these sets. And if I had to give you an honest opinion on both of the sets, I do think the set from Costco is worth the money even though you don't get the bag. I also think, I can't imagine this Slazinger set from Sports Direct has ever been £419.99. I've seen it advertised even cheaper than what I bought it for. I think it was always supposed to be this price. Stayed there. But also, guys, on that hand, I think you can't really go wrong with either of these sets for the price. The Slazingers being £239 does make them a much better proposition for a lot of people. So, guys, get in the comments below. What do you think? Which set would you buy? Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed that comparison of two of the best budget sets you can buy. And apart from that, guys, I'll see you all at the same time tomorrow. I'm going to play some more golf for cheap. Bye.